Wait. Yeah, two hoses, unit. We're in from Nogales. We're Nogales agents. The Douglas agents called us over here, Douglas Ice. Kevin and I have, have a lot of experience in dealing with tunnels. The tunnels are always dangerous. You never know what to expect. Yeah, let's go for. Yeah, I know. It's pretty rough. Yeah, let's go for in here. It is amazing. You can see they were trying to shore up the walls, reinforcing. As you can see, we're standing in uh a hand dug portion of the tunnel in the, in the what we think is the exit of the cross border tunnel in the house. This is the foundation here. They broke through the foundation. As they look for a way in, this extensive destruction makes their job far more dangerous. They couldn't care less about safety. Maybe sometimes there's some shoring or whatnot in there, but tunnels can collapse on you and smother you and crush you to death. Most of the walls that you'll see in any of the rooms that have uh, dirt in it, they reinforce it with two by fours and plywood, that's basically to hold the force of all the weight of the um, dirt because the outward force will knock the walls down, knock the house down. Our ultimate goal today is to try to find an entrance point in Mexico. The tunnel's too small for us to crawl through. So what we're going to try now is try a couple new things today. Let's take that first. Equipment. Basically what's going on is, is my partner Tom's down there and they're, they're feeding the snake camera. Hey Tom, you all right? Yeah. You on your belly? No. Getting dirty, though. Oh, I told you we get a little dirty. Sure, I just did some kind of obstruction. Yeah, it looks like uh, some concrete. You had a cave in? A potential collapse forces Pittman and Hecht to change tactics. Here we go, smoke. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to Plan B, which is put some smoke in the hole, put some little air behind it, see if it pops up on the south side of the border. If it does. We got the entrance. If it doesn't, there's a potential collapse if smoke comes back at us. And at least we know the tunnel's not a threat because it's collapsed. Well, we have um, the Mexican police on the Mexican side waiting, hopefully, that the smoke will come out uh, in a building or somewhere on the Mexican side. And then we can, they'll be able to secure the entrance to the tunnel. We've never done something like this before, so we'll see how it works out. Can you get it on this if we tape it to the hole? The smoke grenades may be their best chance to find the entrance. Ready? I'm going to let it go. But they can be deadly. This is a, a smoke grenade. One of the dangers about using something like this in a, in a small space like this is the smoke displaces oxygen. And if you don't do it right, you won't be able to breathe. So what I'm going to do is just get the tape to this tunnel digging implement, pull the pin, put it in a hole, have the air going, and try to seal it with this blanket, and hopefully uh, it'll be all right. You guys ready? Yep. And they're ready on the south side, so. Mexican police are standing by as Pittman deploys the grenade. Pins pulled. You pulled it? All right, pulled. Iron the hole. Tom, come out. Tom, come out. Tom, Tom, Tom. Get, 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 get him out. Tom, come on out. Can you breathe? No. I didn't work out too well. Can you breathe? Yeah, I All right. I didn't work out too well. I got it. What happened? Came back at him? Yeah. Should have went in for that. Let's get out of here. Okay. Get out of here. Get out, guys. Back out. The thick cloud forces agents to evacuate while the search for the smoke in Mexico begins outside. <laughs> 